So you've built a ton of apps. Can you tell us a little bit about your generative art app and yes. what were some of the differences between trying to build this app and trying to yeah. build another one? Let's see if I can. This might have to reload. Hopefully this will work. So I started doing generative art just over a year ago. So the idea is that instead of building scatter plots and line charts with code in R, we build art, we build things that just look pretty. And this is really fun because I'm quite a creative person and I do do a lot of like painting and drawing in my free time. And this is that intersection of things that are useful for work, but also things that are fun. And so I started doing generative art. And I think this was maybe actually the first R package I also built from scratch. So I created a bunch of different sort of generative art pieces. And then I thought, okay, all of these have some parameters that you can change. So let's make these into functions where those parameters are arguments in those functions. And then it's, now I have a collection of functions. Okay, this is going to be an R package. And then this developed into a shiny app where so these are examples of those functions and these are some of the parameter inputs. So this is, this was quite different to the other app in that it was essentially trying to create some, almost like a user interface for the inputs and outputs of functions. So rather than typing circles and then putting your parameters in the console, in here you input particular values and these are updating automatically. The issues that were a little bit different for this one one was speed. Some of these functions that I've written for generative art, they're creating hundreds of millions of points, which is very slow to render. So I didn't include all of the functions as options here. It was to figure out which ones are can make generative art in a reasonable time and use those ones. And then the other ones, they just take too long to render because you get really frustrated, at least I do, when you're using apps and it takes more than two seconds. I'm like, just hurry up. So it was, yeah. <laughs> so it's okay, let's go through and see how long these actually take when you put them in a shiny app. 